Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today, I'm gonna to be planting some leeks in that bed right there and this bed right here. So I've got quite a few leeks in there that I was gonna be growing in that basket, but a whole bunch sprouted. And the nice thing about alliums, you know, onions, leeks, is that the root systems are kind of wiry and they're not really expansive. And so you can actually pull them apart. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull a lot of these apart and I'm gonna plant them in the beds. The other thing about alliums are that most pests do not like them. So if I plant them in these beds, it's gonna kind of give off that smell. <laughs> that a lot of pests don't like. It's not gonna be perfect, but it'll help maintain the pest population and keep them from wanting to eat the rest of the veggies. This is gonna be really helpful in this bed because I'm gonna plant some broccoli and cabbage. And I had a real bad problem with pests eating my cabbage in the other bed over there. Some of this got eaten. We've got some of these little worms and let's get to it. This bed I'm gonna work with first. I recently planted some lettuce on this side and on this side I've got carrots and radish right here. But right in the center, I'm gonna put these leeks. We've got onions growing here right next to this lettuce. So it's gonna help keep those pests away. I'm gonna kind of put a barrier around the lettuce, which of this bed, lettuce is kind of what most of the pests that I'm having trouble with like to eat. First, we're gonna separate. So I'm just gonna dig up under. I'm gonna try not to disturb the roots too much. They did get down kind of deep and there we go you can see they're easy to kind of pull up so I'm gonna set those aside I also have to see how far apart to put these I don't have the packet on me but I did plant some leeks over here right there and it says here I wrote from the packet four inch so they like four inches so that means I can get quite a few along there I'm gonna actually make it more like six inches I think because I don't need that many leaks. So if it's every six inches, I can do 12 of them, but I'm probably not even gonna do that many. All right, so this bed, I've got two of these bars, one here and then one there and one there. So they go down. The nice thing is these leaks don't grow bulbs, so I don't really have to worry. So I can kind of put them on this side of this bar and it should be all right. All right, so I'm gonna make a hole like so. And one thing alliums really like is fertilizer. So I'm going to make a couple holes here, fill those with fertilizer. And in general, they like a high nitrogen fertilizer. So this is not. So this is a 573. That's nitrogen. The 7 is really good, but we're going to add a little bit of bone meal. So bone meal is a 1200. So that will make this a little bit stronger in nitrogen. And that's all I'm adding. It's probably the right ratio for them roughly. It doesn't have to be exact. And that's going to bury that fertilizer down in, allow the decomposition of the soil biome to start working on it. So I think I grabbed too many, put those back. Probably only need four more. Now, I've got these growing right next to root veggies. However, I've got a pretty big space here. So this here, where the leeks are, is gonna be the dividing line right in the center of the bed, in between my lettuces and the root veggies. This side of the bed likes high nitrogen fertilizers, and carrots and other root veggies do not, because the high nitrogen will mess with the roots. You want to have a higher phosphorus and potassium. I'm going to make sure this is the only time I add high nitrogen fertilizer to this part. All right, there we go, guys. I've got this bed planted out. Now let's work on that bed. This one is a little different because it has mulch on top. We're just going to move the mulch aside before we plant. All right, so I got down into the dirt. I'm just gonna make a hole here at each spot that we're gonna plant. And we'll do the same. We'll put some fertilizer in. I've got quite a few separated out here and we're just gonna go ahead and plant them. They're all planted. Now just to put the mulch back 
and there we go. There's the leaks in that side. Now, I still got quite a few leaks here, and I'm gonna keep some in the pot. So I've got some extra dirt here that had been sitting for a while. This was in the chicken coop. If you guys have been watching the channel, you know that's how I amend my soil after planting with it. And I think this had potatoes in it, which is fine for leaks. Not many diseases pass on. So I'm gonna fill this up a little more with some dirt. But that's been sitting a while, so that chicken poop has degraded over time here. And plus, that'll be some good micronutrients and stuff in the soil too for it. And then I am gonna actually sprinkle out some blood meal here. And some of the fertilizer. Not a lot. Let's make our holes. We'll stick the biggest one right in the center here. How about that? All right, there we go, guys. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a 10 gallon grow bag. I get these and I love them. Um, they're inexpensive and they work great. Put those back in the spot that they were at. We'll let those continue to grow. All right, and then last but not least, we got to water it in. And the same goes with these. This one as well. I got all the leeks planted where I want them, along this row and this row and back in the pot. Stay tuned and you guys can see me plant out this bed. It's gonna be a couple weeks. I'm just waiting for the cabbage and broccoli to get large enough to be able to transplant. Once those are ready, I'm gonna plant those out plus the bunching onions and I'll plant right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. I usually make about one video a day, except for Sundays. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.